today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we're going to do an unboxing and hopefully a quick look. Sometimes a quick look is because we talk too much. This might not be a quick look because there's a lot of features. Yeah. What do we have over there? So this is the Decibel 11 time after time. And I'm not embarrassed to say that we have Let's. already opened the box. Yeah, right. Here it is on the camera. Uh, but I am going to go back into the box to retrieve one final piece yeah. of information. Notice I'm holding the box this time because Pat likes to throw these. Uh, but on this particular pedal, we are going to keep these from being thrown. We're going to keep those handy. I don't know that we're going to need them, but just in case. Don't tell our wives we are looking at instructions. I'm going to throw the box back there with the mounding pile of Leslie pedals yes. that's building up. Yeah. All right, so this is a delay pedal, but it's very interesting delay mm -hmm. pedal. Typically, when you go to play with a pedal, you sit down, you turn it on, you start twisting knobs. And as you twist those knobs... The parameters change. The parameters change. <laughs> Not so much. Yeah. Not so well, much. real quick, I got the thing out for the first time. I looked online a couple times trying to figure out something. As soon as I started turning knobs, he goes, that's not going to do anything. And I'm like, what do you mean it's not going to do anything? I'm turning the, the pedals on and I'm turning the knobs. And you know right. what? It didn't do anything. Yeah. It, so the premise of this delay pedal is that you have 11 presets in the mode that we're using. And I think there's another mode we're not going to cover. But right. um, in the mode we're using, in, you have 11 presets. Uh, and that when you engage the pedal, you engage the preset. Now, once it's engaged, I think we just get right into this, right? Yeah. So, if I hit B, this engages the pedal. And so, if you play a little bit. Now, if I go to turn a knob, nothing's changed. But as I turn the knob, you'll see, hopefully you can see, that this will either light up at the bottom or light up at the top. If it lights up at the top, that means I'm above where the preset is. If it lights up at the bottom, it means that I'm below. For that knob that you're turning. For that knob. Yeah. And then once you hit where the preset is set, it will go to the middle. So if you watch real quick. I don't even have to play, right? You can see that. So I'm below. So I go the other way. Now you don't have to play. I go the other way. Bam. That tells me that I'm at that spot. This little light comes on to say I'm now editing that. So now we're editing it. Same with this knob. Up, uh, above. Now we're at... Yeah, right there it was. That was like right away. Right there. So that is actually the knob configuration for that preset. So now if we turn knobs, we can mess with the preset. And the knobs are? So the knobs are... Delay, yeah, delay time. Yep. Feedback. Modulation depth mix. And there's two more things to keep in mind. On the delay time, if I push that knob down, I've now turned on tap tempo. So your A knob, your A button is now your tap. So we can slow it down. Mm -hmm. And on the mod depth, if I push that knob, it changes it from a slow to a fast modulation, like the warble of it. Do you want to show it real quick? I mean, the, right. So the now if you play and let it kind of hang. I think maybe give it, I think maybe give it the hard chop so we can hear the delays. Okay. You can hear it at the end. So maybe if you, let's bring the feedback up a little bit. Maybe if you play and then I'll go back. ugly at that it does with that much like, I don't think you would use that with that much wearable but you could hear yeah that how when I push that knob it went to like a slower setting mm -hmm. all right so we've covered a few things yeah that that not only do you have your buttons but you have your knobs and your knobs can all be depressed two of them can to, be depressed for, for the delay time and the mod depth right can right. be depressed to activate a second function right so now what we can do is we can hit A, 
and it's in tap. So I'm gonna, we'll tell you how to get by that later. I'm gonna take it off tap right now. So now we go to our second preset, but we haven't engaged that preset yet because this little dot's here. That little dot tells me it's not engaged. So if I hit B again, I've now switched to number two. So to make that make sense, you're playing, you're out gigging and you have this preset set up and you want to go to like a really, really short uh, slap back kind mm -hmm. of room reverb -y kind of thing, which we figured out was number 11. Yeah. So as you're playing, you could be tapping, scrolling through, we get to 11, you're still playing and now it comes time to engage that. <laughs> So the, I mean the, because you might think, well, that's a pain. I gotta scroll through and then hit that one, but that's what allows you to scroll through without changing to every delay along the way. Well, and depending on how you <clears throat> designed your set list, mm -hmm. you could almost have a, a delay. If you had an eleven song set list, you could have one in sequentially in order. Set up your go take the time to set up your delay for each of those songs. Right. Which I would never do, but I'm saying you could do that instead of going yeah. from like. Oh, I know my short slaps on eleven, but I'm playing this same set, or I know what set I'm playing. You could make that not mm -hmm. such a big span if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So the question then would be: What if you had one where? Uh oh. Well, he broke it. <laughs> well, I just resaved eleven as eleven. Okay. Yeah. No harm, no foul. So. I think I did just resave the eleven as eleven. So now we have the tap tempo turned on for eleven. So when I go to hit this, it's going to be taking tap in. It's not going to take me to the next preset. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is just hold it down. So you hold it down, and then it kicks us to one. Kicks us to the next preset, but notice the dots there. Mm -hmm. So to engage one, I have to hit that again. So, um, if you maybe it doesn't sound that complicated as we're. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with it right now, but it took us a while to figure that out. Um, one of the uses. So, like, how would you use this? One of the things that we were thinking about. You know, a lot of times when we record these demos, Pat will put. Uh, a delay over on the effects loop. And so then, if you want to change, if you want to make it longer or shorter, you're getting up and running over the amp, running back, playing, running over the amp, running back, playing, it's a real pain. So he could take a pedal like this, mm -hmm. set up the delay sounds he used in the first three or four presets, and then between videos or whatever we're doing, just walk over there, right. go to the preset, hit boom, mm -hmm. it's saved, it's in, it's in the amp, it's in the same room, so it would be pretty usable right. that way, I think. And, it, and the delays sound nice. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, I can do, I can play a little bit more at some point here uh, through maybe right. not every one because there's just subtle nuances, right? It's, it's just <clears throat> various differences of the four knobs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do we want to show what the knobs do and then do that? Or yeah, do we, yeah not... we can. We can. I mean, they're, they're kind of standard though, right? Like... Right. I'll tell you what, the, the uh, modulation knob <laughs> seems to get to like a heavy modulation yeah. pretty quick. You get seasick real in a hurry. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah I, I thought that was. Um, but, but it's cool that you can switch between the fast and the slow of it too. And on some, it's nice to have a little bit of mod. I mean, I have a carbon copy, uh, deluxe and a regular, and there's a mod button on there. I don't always use it, but it's, it's not on, on the regular carbon copy. It's not controllable unless you open the box, which if you've watched before, I don't know what the box is, but like this one, you could set a little modulation on some of your delays. If you're looking for a chorus -y kind of delay or something like that, or right. you could have it completely out and be more pure. And I guess where that comes from, if you think about like the old tape echoes, <clears throat> yeah, that modulation comes from the speed of the tape, and it right. would give that little bit of wearable. But I think I find, like on the longer echo I use on a uh, source audio on the Nemesis, there's a little bit of modulation there, mm -hmm. and I find that that almost gives it like a touch of course, kind of mm -hmm. behind the scenes, which is pretty cool. So if we were to do. 
Why don't you just play a little bit and I will change. We'll leave the delay time where it is probably. But I'll just play with the feedback and play with the uh, mix a little bit. Right, I'll play something that's a little choppy so you can hear. Because I feel like if I'm going to if I'm gonna pick too much straight through a chord, you're not going to hear the difference. But if I was like... Yeah, because the mix, that's the delay side. Not Hit it one. once real hard and let it go. That second one almost gets up over the first. Yeah. That's cool. And then modulation. swirling edit thing or during that time we kind of it's trippy man it like gets a little crazy <laughs> yeah, that's right i think it's i think it's the last song they'd heard on the titanic right before it went down all right so what are we forgetting we got so to save a preset say we like that the delay knob that like if you hold it once quick it turns on the tap mm -hmm. if we wanted to save that then we would press that five hold seconds. it for five seconds yeah. and then all the lights will light up and then we saved it the educator taught me a little something before, and I remembered five seconds. <laughs> That's all I remember from everything. It has uh, it has uh, other features. It has MIDI uh, in the back there. It does have MIDI in and out. Mm -hmm. um, you can do you know effects loop, not stereo. Right. Right. I don't think so. I think there's only one out. Yeah. yeah. Which is fine because we always talk about wanting to run stereo, but that would just be one more amp on the stage. Yeah. And the sound guys would like us even less if that's possible. <laughs> right. So. I mean, like us as people, I think. I actually, I really. I mean, all the stock sounds that are we haven't like played with it to get our own yeah. sounds too much, but all the stock sounds in it are all right. I, I, I mean, you can hear, I could get my sound, or I think you can get your sound out yeah. of it. Uh, I'd like the functionality of it. And it might even inspire something different, right? We've talked about something a little different might inspire you to do something different. It sounds obvious but or stupid. But like going through that, you might be like, oh, okay, that would be cool to play in the intro of this song. Because um, there's 11 of them <laughs> that okay. you can pick from that were done there at the uh, factory. So if you run... Let's get back to the factory. So we'll turn that off. Oh, so we turned it off. You think it would come back to where all the knobs are that we were just playing with. No, it comes right back to yep. stock setting. Mm -hmm. So do you want to, I, I guess to play out, we could, or do you want to come back? I don't know if there's really to come back to, because I think we've kind of like almost I'm, gotten away with looking like we know what we're talking about. <laughs> I'm afraid if we keep talking, they'll realize there's a thin veneer and <laughs> we're behind the curtain. Oh, the one, thing, one thing we didn't show. <laughs> okay. What? One thing we didn't show. So if I hit this button and turn the tap on, the tap tempo's on, but if you want subdivisions. Oh, right, 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 right. So if you want subdivisions, you start messing with this. Why is it doing that? All right. So you see the six dot, six, eight dot, six dot, eight. Oh, I missed there's a four in there somewhere. But so as you turn that delay knob, you mm -hmm. go to different subdivisions. And in the manual, in the, yes, somewhere in the manual, I'm not sure, uh, right here, it does tell you this part right the beat division displayed and what the actual beats are. So I guess four would be all the way at the end. But for some reason, it's not going to four right now. I went to four earlier. Because we're showing a video. Right, video. of course. Um, so we'll get out of that. Come back. We're back to stock. Uh, this was a guitar center or musician's, musician's friend, friend deal of the day. Stupid deal of the day. Yeah. Stupid deal of the day. And it was a great price. It was. And uh, it's a good pedal. Um, yeah, once I stop being afraid of it, I might actually use it. <laughs> I, I mean, 
<clears throat> to be honest, it has been down here for a month. At least. Maybe two. I could look at the receiver. Yeah, it's, it's been down here for a month or two. And every, every, t- every time we record, I'm like, should we do the Cindy Lopper? Yeah, we affectionately call the Cinder Lo- Cindy Lopper because it's time after time. But like every time we're like, what are we going to do tonight? And you're like, well, there's Cindy Lopper, And I pretend I didn't hear him. Like, right. <laughs> Or he spelled Cindy wrong, so I'm not going to pay attention. But yeah, it's... It just because we wanted to do it right, whether we did it right or not, I don't know. And to be honest, like we looked at a couple other uh, people that we know and respect, and one of them had viewed the, reviewed this pedal, and he struggled a little bit with it in the beginning. And I'm like, goodness gracious, if this guy's struggling, this is going to be a train wreck for me, at least. No, but it turned out to be all right. A, a quick tutorial uh, from... I read the manual over Professional there. educator. He read the manual on the computer. Does that make it different? Like, if, like you could tell your wife, your I, didn't, I didn't read the manual. But you read the PDF on the computer. The Is that different? <laughs> so, more stuff coming. Yeah. Um, so, we would love if you'd subscribe and support the channel in that way. It's a big help. Um, leave us a comment. What do you think of the time <clears throat> after time? And uh, like the video. Our good friend Chris, when we called it the Cindy Lopper pedal, he says the girls want to have fun. We're like, no, it's time after time. <laughs> I hate to disappoint him. But if anybody has a girls just want to have fun pedal out there, yeah, we'd please. Love to know about it. <laughs> we'll, we'll give it an equally uh, good <laughs> review like we have here. <laughs> we'll, so, we'll give it a thorough look over. <laughs> That's terrible. So, with that, before we get our YouTube channel canceled, uh, this is PJ on behalf of the Beard reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. Uh, do want to have fun though. well that <laughs> unless subscribers be monetized anyway we really <clears throat> <do this. laughs> good night from 1984 <laughs> just need to get one of those chorus pedals out and crank it up oh yeah yeah we'd have it all right good night gracie <laughs>